Well, hello, 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 and welcome to Core Keeper. Something a little different today. So I wanted to talk to you about this game called Core Keeper. I've been playing it a lot lately, a lot on stream, and I've been really enjoying it. So I wanted to go over just five things that I wish I knew before I started playing this game. Uh, we'll, we'll go right into it. The first thing is that uh, this torch that I'm carrying around, if I wanted to have a sword out, for example, you got to put the torch away. Or if you hold down shift, you can just have your torch out. You can place torches if need be. You know, right click to place, left click to smack things. But you can do that on the fly, which I didn't know about when I first started. And it's made my life a lot easier with fighting bosses or fighting monsters or anything like that. So something super, super helpful. Hold shift for your torch. The second thing I wanted to talk about is inventory. Inventory has been, I, I wouldn't say a nightmare for me. But it's been a pain. I found two things out by playing this game. The first is that if you just open up your inventory with tab and press R, it will sort everything for you. And that has been a godsend. I cannot tell you how, how nice that makes the game. But also, if you go up to any chest that you have items in and you press Q, it will automatically take all of the items that you have in your inventory and place them in here. So that that is another fantastic thing. These are kind of uh, two tips in one. I haven't really sorted that one out yet. But it's It's been really nice. You just walk up to anything and you hit Q. So that took my fiber and my slime. Uh, this will take any of my extra foods over here. And then I just hit R again and it auto sorts it. So that, that has been absolutely wonderful and I will put all this stuff away as, as we're talking and walking right the um I guess this would be the fourth thing that I wanted that I wish I knew is how important farming is in this game especially these guys here the uh, bomb peppers they are extremely extremely important to have uh and what you could do is something like I did where I trenched out a little bit of water but my water source is way over that way so I trenched out water down here to make a little pond where I can easily refill and then I actually made my my refillables here where my hoe and my watering can is and the last thing that I wish I knew before playing core keeper and probably the most important thing um, I don't know man but the, the farm is super important and the sorting is ridiculously useful so I don't know which would be best or worst but anyway I digress uh, the last tip I guess I have for you is that you can actually just take stuff with you and what I mean by that is you will eventually get these things called the repair or the salvage tables you can actually just take a salvage table with you an extra salvage table with you so that way I'll, I'll get it eventually so that way you can take your salvage and your salvage table with you so you can repair stuff on the fly. There's a, a lot of things that I've seen or a lot of talk that will that would say, hey, yeah, make some extra iron pickaxes or make some extra uh, swords or whatever so you're out fighting. But uh, I don't really care to do that. So I take my salvage and repair station with me with all of my scrap parts and then uh, I let that roll. So that way, if I come into a situation where I break my shovel or whatever, all I have to do is just throw down a table, and then I can repair it, then pick my table back up, and I just keep moving. So it's been uh, it's been really nice to help me explore without bringing extra tools or anything like that. I know it does take up an extra inventory slot, but in my opinion, it is 100% worth it. So I hope this uh, helps you get your feet wet in this game. I'm really, really enjoying Core Keeper, so I hope that you give it a shout as well. But as always, I'd like to give a shout out and a thanks to all my Patreons. We got LDDP, JD, Quirzilla, and Randall Thor. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to make this new and interesting, to me, content. I will see you guys next time.